If you want to learn how to do the around the world soccer trick, I'm going to show you a few different variations on how to perform that skill, as well as giving you an in-depth tutorial so you can finally master this trick once and for all. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. tear me apart because I'm not a freestyler. I have spent time in the past practicing the skills, having fun with it, and yes, it does help you develop your ball control. So if it's something you want to master, you're tired of not being able to do it, let's talk about how to do it. So the first thing, and I would just start like that, start from that. Don't, don't even start from a juggle. You want to start like that and you want no spin on the ball. It's going to make it easier. So the touch is actually, the touch before you put your foot around the ball, it's a, this is how freestyle jugglers juggle the ball because they want minimal spin on the ball. If the ball is always spinning like you would normal juggling with backspin, you can still perform tricks, but it makes it more difficult. When you have a little less spin on the ball, it's easier to perform the skill. But I want you to think about this touch here, you're doing that specifically. You're doing that freestyle juggler and you're just kind of picking the ball up off your toe. Now the key is, when I do that, when I make that touch, I need to start the movement of that circle in the same motion. I'm not kicking the ball, I'm not kicking the ball and then trying to put my leg around it. If I do that, you're gonna have to be crazy fast and realistically, you're never gonna get there. So what you wanna think about is putting two movements into one motion. I'm picking it up and I'm starting my circle at the same time. Okay, so you're doing that juggling touch, it's coming off the toe. And at the same time, I'm starting the circle and I'm actually hitting a little on the inside of the ball. I'm definitely not hitting on this side of the ball. I'm hitting a little more on this side of the ball. And that's where you see that side spin. Okay, because if I hit it right in the middle, it's just gonna hit me in the foot. If I hit it too much on this side, that's what you're gonna do when you try to go the other way. So 
you want to pick up that foot, you want to hit on this side of the ball, you want to start the movement at the same time. Picking up the leg, and then going around. And also I have to say, if you're a bit older or you have a tendency to tear muscles pretty easily, warm your groins up before you do these because all this motion, you're gonna get some pulls in there and if you're not properly warmed up, you don't wanna injure yourself doing freestyle tricks. So, once you do that, you start, then you get, you're quick enough to get your foot under the ball. I'm just starting with bounce. Yeah, I'm just starting with a bounce. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online soccer account. Maybe after you can start, no bounce. So beginner, intermediate, now go advanced from an actual juggle. And getting around the ball. You see me in the videos I'm always doing with both feet. So you might as well practice. And then if you really want to challenge yourself, what you need to learn to do is to perform the skill with less set of time. So what I mean by that is, if I'm always taking 20 touches, 20 juggles, before I perform the skill, it doesn't look as good, it's not as challenging. So what you want to learn to do is, Maybe like one, maybe like one touch in between to set yourself, and then perform a skill. Try to get if you if you mastered it and you feel pretty good about it, get away from one. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna go. Just go. Just go. Just try it. If you if you screw up, the ball goes away. Who cares? Just try it. You you'll surprise yourself a lot of times just going for it. So don't overthink it. Obviously, you want to try to set yourself the touch before you make the skills extremely important. So if I know I'm about to perform the skill, I need good quality in this touch right before the skill. If this touch is off, then that screws me up. Okay, so really focus on the set before the skill. But as I said, if it's not perfect, just go for it. Just see what happens, okay? And screw up and come back and try it again. And let's talk about that. Like I talked in previous uh, freestyle trick videos. If you screw up and what do you do? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Screw this. And you just leave it. You're never going to improve. A great thing about practicing these tricks is it actually teach you mental toughness, calming the mind, getting over anger, getting over frustration, because that stuff doesn't help you improve at all. You have to have a strong mind. You have to be unfazed. If you make mistakes, you can make a thousand mistakes. The quote is whatever, fall down seven times, get up eight. As long as you keep trying and you keep thinking about what did I do wrong? How can I do something a little bit different this time? You're gonna improve the skill. So the first one I showed you was going outside. The next you can do is going inside. So the hip and the groin going the other way, this way compared to this way. Same principles apply. Instead of hitting on this side of the ball, and I, when I say hitting on this side of the ball, I'm not actually hitting here. I'm hitting just slightly off center. On this side, I'm hitting slightly off center on the other side. Okay, so I'm, I'm hitting here. It's giving that side spin on the ball. And I'm completing that circle, but it's coming, remember, it's at the same time. Touch and start your circle. Practice with both feet. Okay, that's where I would start with that bounce, then go to the hands, then go to a basic juggle, and then minimize your setup time. So, as you saw in the video, I did a couple of different variations, but you can go outside, inside, you can do multiples. which is pretty tough and, and you have to have quick feet and maybe a good groin uh, mobility, hip mobility. And let's also talk about the body positioning. If I am off balance and I'm here doing the skill, it's gonna be really tough. So think about having good foundation, getting your body over the ball 
And from this position, you're going to be more successful. What else did I do? I did like a, I did a inside inside. So here, here, something like that. And I'm not going to go into crazy detail on the advanced ones. For this video, I just want to do a basic tutorial on how to do a round the world soccer trick. So just like any trick, if you want to prove this, any skill, you got to put in the practice. Do not expect yourself to be a master. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated when you haven't even put in the work. If you're always looking at what other people do and say, oh, I can't do that. I'm not as good as them. You never focus on yourself. Don't worry where they are. Don't worry what they can do. Focus on what you can do today. Become a little bit better each day and you're going to improve those skills and eventually you'll catch up to the other people. Don't worry about anyone else. What level are you at? Beginner, intermediate, advanced. How can you challenge yourself? How can you take your skills to the next level? If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.